Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome to, I saw it on Pinterest, so I tried it. It's Karen with you again today, as per the norm. Today, I want to tell you about my fascination with gazing balls in your garden. You just sit in your garden, you have this beautiful ceramic or glass ball next to you and you gaze into it and all these lovely poems come to your mind or you think of things that you never would have thought about like why does the grass grow in this way and not that way. You know stuff like that. So that is what we're doing today um, and I saw this pin on Pinterest so I will insert the pin either at the front or at the end, or maybe even here, who knows? Um, and today we need a couple of things. We need I, what I call a bud vase. We need some containers for mixing. We need a mod hodge. I always say it incorrectly, so I said it right. And we need some, some craft sticks for stirring and neon food coloring. Now let's get this all set up and we'll get back to you right away. Okay, I'm back and I'm set up. Now I've got yogurt containers that I've saved um, so that I can mix the glue, the Mod Podge, Mod Podge. I always want to say Mod Podge. I don't know why. I said that all through my, when my boys were little and then Ben's like, I thought they were two different products because I always said it wrong. Poor Ben, everything has to be 100%. <clears throat> Okay, so I'm going to pour some Mod Podge into this. I don't know, maybe about a quarter. I'll start with a quarter, because I don't know. And let's go with pink. We'll start with the pink. Now you just need to add a few drops of this. One, two, three, four. We'll start with four, and we'll see how that looks. So this is the neon food coloring, and this is just Mod Podge that I've had in the house. Oh, that, that kind of looks purpley. That's a purple. And you know what? I That is just such a light colored purple. I so need more, like I think six more. Now I've never worked with neon food coloring before, so this is gonna be exciting, huh? Let's see what comes out of this. Mm. Well, it's getting a lot more purpley. Just make sure you get all the food color. I got lots on the side because I'm a horrible mixer. But this, I think I could live with this. What do you think? Maybe a little bit. Let's, get, let's try five more. Five more. <clears throat> I didn't know there was neon food coloring until I saw this on Pinterest. So I tried it. So yeah, I'm liking this. So this is like 15, 15 drops of food coloring. I could live with that. You know what? I'm going to try five more. So it'll be 20 in total. And then we'll see what it does. Ah! I dropped it in my glue. Well, that can't be good. All right. Luckily, I have a towel. Napkins. Hopefully, if uh, we don't shut down again. We have some wonderful secondhand stores here in Camrose. Um, all right, look at that. I'm liking that. So 20 drops of food coloring will make a, a nice kind of mauve purple. So I'm going to mix up my other three colors and then I'll get back to you and then we'll start the craft. this we've got a blue a green a kind of pinky red and this purple so we're going to get started with the bud vase so this I got this at Goodwill for two dollars and I got about five of them so this I am definitely making a lot of because uh, I want quite a few for my yard because I just think this is great now the pin that I saw the bottoms were totally rounded like it was like a light fixture that they found I couldn't find one like I couldn't find any light fixture so I went for the bud vase for two bucks um two bucks each so two four six eight ten I spent ten dollars on these plus the um um, no, 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 no. food coloring and then the Mod Podge. So what they tell you to do is put the bud vase down and then we're going to start pouring the colors into the bud vase. 
So I'm going to pour on this side the blue. There we go. Oh, looks like I don't need as much as I may have thought I needed. Now we'll start with the green and we'll put that on this end. There we go. That looks like about enough. Ooh, that looks so cool. I'm really liking this. And then the pinky red. I, this actually looks like one of the fairy house colors I painted. I wonder if you painted with this, what this would be like. Oh, I'm going to have to totally try that. I wonder if I got another yogurt container. Oh, just put one in the recycling this morning. So going to try another, do, try it on a recycling, just recycled yogurt container. All right, and this one goes here. All right, now, the trick is not to mix up the the Mod Podge too much, but to mix it up enough so that the entire inside of the bud vase is coated. So I'm going to gently tip it like this and just start. Oh, <gasps> look at that! OMG! All right, I may have scrimped a little bit on the glue. It might not be covering totally. So. So it looks like I've got this pretty much entirely covered. Now the next step is to take it and put it on some paper. There you go. Put it on some paper like that. Oh, let's put it here so you can see it. Where are you? There you are. Um, so you can see it and uh, just let it dry. Now it probably needs to dry overnight. Well, hello everybody. So today I've moved downstairs to the uh, basement to do my crafting for, I saw it on Pinterest, so I tried it because I've been using the kitchen table for like a month and nobody else has been able to use it. So I think in the um, feeling of synergy that uh, I vacated the kitchen table and now I'm downstairs on the um, previously kitchen table of ours um, that I will now do my filming and my crafting at. So that's all fine. It's good. Um, so I wanted to show you the the gazing balls that I made. Look at them. When they dry, they go opaque. It's wonderful. Look at how wonderful they are. They've they've had some messy fingers touching them, which is fine, um, Christopher. Uh, but look at this one. This one, this the first one I did, and it's just like the best. It's nice. I had some leftover paint, so I thought I'd just paint some on one, and it looks weird. So maybe we'll just redo that one. Okay. So the next thing I want to do is I want to put them on um, a piece of wood. I, I got these. They're like um, a medallion or me me metals and plaque boards at a, a secondhand store for a dollar. And this one says solid red oak. Oh my God. So I'm going to use the back of it and I'm going to dremel out a spot to put it and then uh, glue it in and then um, put it in the dirt. Now the another thing they can say is get a terracotta pot and then put this in like this in the terracotta pot. I didn't like the way that looked and I, I, I've inserted the pin somewhere in this lengthy repertoire and uh, so you'll see. Um, but now I'm going to head outside and do some dremeling and I'll take you with me. Outside I have a dremel. I have a piece of wood that I marked the circle of the bud vase and now let's see what mess we can make. Okay I've never used a dremel before. But I think I just want to. Ooh. Oh, wow, this wood is super hard. Right. 
So I dremeled the living daylights out of this piece of wood. It's really, really hard. Um, so I got a nice big circle in there. And now I'm going to put my gazing ball in it like this. See? And now we're going to head downstairs and hit some hot glue. Back in the craft room or the new craft table. And I've got the glue gun going. It's nice and hot. And um, so now let's glue the globe to the piece of wood I dremeled out and see. So here's the dremel wood. Here is the lovely opaqueness that is the gazing jar. And we're going to start, let me get some glue down in here, some glue in there. And just start filling this little channel nicely up with some glue. Oh, see, there we go. I really need to get my bigger glue gun out because I just went halfway around here and now I have to wait for the glue gun to heat up some more. I hope. Now let's get this girl in. There we go. Hold her in. I'm going to push her down and then I'm going to take the glue gun and just fill up these spaces. So I'm going to put a lot of glue in there. So let's just let it sit for a bit. I've got the bigger glue gun going and we've got some big glue in it. Now we're just going to squirt a whole bunch of glue into the reservoir here. This is my gazing ball. So let's let it dry and then I'll take it outside and we'll get a couple of shots with it outside. But this is, I saw it on Pinterest, so I tried it. The gazing ball episode. Exciting. Okay, so now I'm here at my garden and uh, I have lots of bunny poop in my garden right now. But uh, that's fine because... This garden really needs a lot of fertilizer. So I'm just going to move it about a bit. Yeah. This used to be just a big tree stump, this area here. All right, so let's say that, that I'm making that. And now we're going to put the gazing ball in there. Like that. Let's move it a little bit closer to there. Maybe even a bit. Like there. That's a good spot. And then we're just going to cover it. Cover it the gazing ball with just a little bit of soil and bunny poop uh, it, it will be rotary tilled into the yard if you just think we're going to leave bunny poop on top we won't. the bunny poop must be the nutrient okay and there is the gazing ball I saw it on Pinterest so I tried it the gazing ball edition so now I just need to get a lawn chair, a cocktail, non-alcoholic cocktail, and just sit here and gaze and think of poetry or something like that. All right, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.